So there's a new method to make Cursor and Windsurf 10 times smarter that no one's talking about. Cloud code just went public and now works directly inside of your AI editors, making AI coding ridiculously powerful. And as someone who's built applications for over 20 years, I can tell you that this is unconditionally the best AI coding setup available today. But it does come at a price. And here is the crazy part because Claude Code was already the world's best AI coder, but it was stuck in terminals like this. And let's be honest, that would scare away most of you, which is why I have never talked about it on this channel. But it has just changed this week because now it installs directly into editors like Cursor, Windsurf or VS Code and it takes literally just a minute and suddenly you will be using Opus 4, the world's best AI coding model and you can do this at a fixed monthly cost that is a fraction of what a human developer would cost. I have been using this setup for myself for the past few days on multiple of my own apps including Macropulse and I have to tell you it's the real deal there's no more repeating yourself no more context limits because Claude code compresses itself while working with you and there's no more getting off track because Claude code maintains its own to-do lists Yo, what's up guys? My name is Rob and I've been a coder for over 20 years. But now I teach founders who want to build the next million dollar ideas with AI without expensive developer teams. And just a quick heads up, my AI coding blueprint is almost final and the pre-order discount is going away very soon. If you really want to understand how this tech works and how to use it for yourself, this program is for you. But now let's jump into it because what I'm about to show you is in no way, shape or form the cheapest way to code with AI. But if you've asked for my professional opinion, it is the best way. And if you are a power user or a founder that's not afraid of dropping some cash for the absolute best solution, this is for you. But let's take a step back and actually answer the question of what is Claude Code and why is nobody talking about it? Well, a couple of days ago, Anthropics, the makers of Claude, held a live conference and they dropped some big news. They announced Claude 4 with Opus and Sonnet, but maybe most importantly, that Claude Code was no longer in beta and that it was now publicly available. But until now, Claude Code only worked in terminals, as you can see here, which wasn't great for newcomers at all. It was quite hard to use. But here is what changed. It has now a feature to replace the AI functionality like a virus inside of Cursor and Windsurf entirely. And when you launch it from the inside, and I'm going to show you how, it installs itself into the AI editor and takes over. And here is the absolute kicker, because while Claude Code was still in beta, they announced that coding is included in their max plans, which start at $100 and go up to $200, which I know it sounds expensive, but only until you compare it to ChatGPT Pro, which doesn't give you meaningful coding capabilities and it costs $200. With Claude Max, you get nearly unlimited coding, you get deep research, you get access to the web search and Opus 4, which is currently the world's best AI model, all for a fixed price starting at $100 a month. But now let's go into Cursor and look at how simple all of this really is. And before you say, but Rob, I don't use Cursor, I use Windsurf or VS Code, the steps will be exactly the same. All of these editors are based on the same code and every step I'm going to take, you can take in your editor too. But first things first, you need to go back to the Claude website and get this terminal command right here. And if you are freaked out by terminals, don't worry, you can take this and just paste it into your AI editor if you want. So back in cursor and I'm just gonna say npm install and it will, I'll use Sonnet 4 to do it and we'll just continue to install it for you. This will be much faster if you already have an AI editor like cursor or Windsurf installed, but either way it will guide you through. Once installed, all you have to do is go up here to the terminal menu, then select new terminal and right here, enter lowercase Claude. And now watch what happens next, because now Claude will actually start. And as you briefly saw here, it said IDE connected. And what we can do now is just say forward slash and then press IDE and it will say cursor. Okay, done. Now, in your case, because you're probably running this for the first time, this window, the Claude code window here should pop up automatically. But 
If it doesn't, let me close this real quick. All you have to do is click up here to the search bar, use this pointy bracket, I don't know what it's called, and enter something like Claude. And then you're gonna find an option here called Run Claude Code. And just like that, you have Claude Code running and connected to your IDE, to your AI editor. Now we can close the terminal down here because the scary stuff is literally over. I'm just going to make the cursor editor a little bit smaller and Claude Code a little bit smaller. And now you see we have actually two chats here, which is pretty crazy. But now let's actually build something quickly so you can see how it compares to what you may know from working directly with Cursor or Windsurf. And mind you, I'm going to be using Opus 4, which is the most powerful model in the world right now, which every time you ask it something might charge you 30, 40, 50 cents. So it's really expensive to use. And it will make this demo even more powerful because by the end I may have spent 10, 15 or $20 to build a super small app, but I didn't pay anything for it because it was included in the max subscription. So I have an idea for an app where basically we can just pull in two types of things geolocation data so when you enter a city name for example like tokyo berlin or dubai then it will give you the geolocation data for that place then we can use this geolocation data to query a second api for weather data and then all i want to do is a very simple weather app where i enter a place it gets the geolocation data it gets the weather data and then it shows us some nice interface of what the weather is actually like with the data that we have gotten from these two services. And if you know me at all, you know that I don't like writing prompts. I like to speak them. So that's what I'm going to do. And let's go. So I want to build a very simple Next.js app that allows me to search for places like Tokyo, Berlin, or Dubai. And then it queries First, it needs to get the geolocation data. So we can use a free API that doesn't require signing up called letlong.net. Now you're gonna see the first problem with Claude Code, which is just when you like paste long lines of text, it's actually a feature, it's not a bug. And it means that when you paste long parts of text from like documentation or something like that, it will try to shorten this into something like this. So here I pasted six lines of code, but now if I press enter, you'll see the full prompt. You also see that I actually hit the native editor, but you can bring it back whenever you want. And now you can already see one of the best features of Claude code. It created a full to-do list that it now will follow, which is pretty crazy. Now it crossed out the first task on its to-do and it will continue to work on the others. Opus 4 is also the best model for generating SVG files, which are the files that are basically images, but created with code, if that makes sense. All other models have problems creating complex ones, but Opus in early tests, was really good in recreating logos, for example. So I think when we ask it to create something like a sun and a cloud and whatever, it should be able to do really cool stuff. But let's see, maybe I praise it a little too much. It says it's done and it wants to run a build command to see if there's any errors. So probably there's going to be some errors. This is where Opus really shines. It is outperforming every model in the world by quite a bit, by quite a margin, by its ability to use tools and learn and iterate to solve problems. And that's exactly what's happening here right now. Now I can see that the build actually succeeded. So <laughs> I'm guessing it will try to run the dev server now so we can test it. Okay, actually it will ask us to run the dev server ourselves. So I'm gonna do just that. Okay, so the interface looks cool. Now let's, uh, yeah, let's start with Tokyo and see what happens. That is not a bad start. Let's try Dubai where I am. Pretty wild that this is a one shot. That was one prompt. So I would like the animations to be a lot more elaborate. So I'll try to give it one follow-up prompt. So the application is fully working, 
but the animations are not great. Really, there are none. And I, for Sunny, there's no, there's, there's no rays. It looks like there's like just a crossed out sun. For Cloudy, it looks like there were two clouds, but they were kind of cut off and not moving around. So there's one thing that you can do in Claude code, and that is you can say specifically, think hard, ultra think, especially when creating animations and SVGs. So what this will do is it will enable thinking mode in Claude, which means it's way more powerful. It will take way more time. It will also take more resources. Thinking mode is way better at creating SVGs than the standard Opus 4. So let's see, I'm nitpicking here. The fact that it created two APIs that can pull in geolocation and weather data, the fact that it created or used a different weather API because it understood that what I asked it to do wasn't possible with the API that I asked it to do. The fact that it just goes through the to-dos and crosses them off one by one, it is just so powerful if you're okay with using something that is a little bit less user-friendly, but so much more powerful. Okay, so it looks like it has completed the work. Now let's test it and go Dubai again. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. The sun is actually like pulsating, which is nice. Now let's look at some other ones. Uh, so I've just checked the weather in these places. There should be lightning here. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the SVGs are not perfect, but listen, we're talking about two prompts. Now let's try snow. Yeah, I mean, there's snow here, but it's like white on white, so that's not perfect. So this is imperfect, but pretty good if you ask me. So did you notice how it remembered everything? How it set up to-do lists for itself? Because unlike Cursor's limited memory, Claude Code uses a full available context. There's no more repeating yourself every three messages. But let's be real. I have used this for hours on multiple of my own projects and I'm on the $100 per month plan. I so far haven't hit the limits. One time I almost did and then it sets Claude Opus 4 limit reached now using Claude Sonnet 4, which I was very surprised by because it meant that I would be able to continue coding for free while using the Claude Sonnet 4 model instead of Opus 4. Mind you, this was like three hours into a coding session. And from here, it continued to tell me that I'm approaching my usage limit and that it will reset at 9 p.m., which was again, like three and a half to four hours into my coding session. Here's something that you need to know about the max plan. It resets every rolling five hours. So in every five hour period, starting from the first time that you send a message, you have a five hour window where usage limits apply. But once this five hour window is over, you just start again and you complete, it's a complete reset. So you can just continue coding again with Opus 4. It's pretty wild. But let's also be honest because Cursor's Max Mode and Claude Code Max Plan, they're very advanced tools for people that want to build real applications. So if you're just starting to learn AI coding or you're building just like some simple landing pages, not real apps with multiple pages, dashboards, and all that jazz, then probably just stick to Cursor's or Windsurf's Pro Plan, which will cost you a fraction of this. But if you're building real apps and you're tired of the AI getting stuck or forgetting things, then Claude Code might be the answer. But if you don't even use Cursor or Windsurf yet, then watch this video next where I walk you through the entire setup from scratch. Get that working first, then come back to this video and 10x your experience with Claude Code.